gonna showcase two valley installations today. The first is the W valley, which I'm holding here in my hands, which uses an offset cleat. The second valley is the Hem valley by All American Steel, which I'm holding in my hands. It has an integrated offset cleat, so fewer components, faster to install. The first valley that I'm gonna show you how to install is the W valley. I'm gonna trace the reverse side of the trim so that I can hem it over the D-style eave trims so that you have a nice closed look from the ground and that water does not, you don't get any capillary action with water getting pulled up between two pieces of open metal. So I'm working on the reverse side of the valley. You can see that my Sharpie mark traces the line of the eave trim and I'm going to make another mark one inch from that so that I can cut and fold to hem over the D-style. I know that the width of this ruler is one inch, so I'm not, uh, I don't have to measure it with the tape. I'm going to just cut along my cut line. And that'll allow me to hem and fold the ribs so that everything is closed off. So I've cut along my cut lines one inch from my fold line so that I can use this tool, the Deft One by Malco, which is a bending tool. I can fold this back to hem over the D-style drip, and I've left the rib, the W of the valley, long so that I can finish it and close it so that when you look up from the ground, you don't see an open hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend these. We have our valley, which has been hemmed and cl is clipping into the D-style eave trim, and I just want to close this rib so that you, have a, you don't have an opening when you look up from the ground. Fold that in. Just do a little bit of a miter cut. Fold that down. Thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your All American Steel rep or shoot us a note through social media.